Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Good evening. Now here's a look at today's top stories. The first stop was Columbus and Cincinnati, and now thousands of coronavirus vaccines sent to Ohio are here in our region. The Cleveland Clinic, Metro Health, and the VA Clinic here in Cleveland received hundreds of doses today, as well as Altman Hospital in Canton, where they administered a few vaccines. The rest will start administering those doses tomorrow. 98,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine were sent to Ohio this week. Governor Mike DeWine expects the state to have 400,000 vaccines in the state by Christmas and more than a half million by New Year's. While it's something to celebrate, it's still going to be months before we reach herd immunity. Uh, we have our work cut out for us, though, to slow the spread uh, of the virus until enough of our fellow Ohioans can get uh, vaccinated. We must continue to try to do everything we can to prevent overwhelming the hospitals. Governor DeWine says local health departments should start getting vaccines next week. As far as, as who are priority, those who live and work in congregate settings and healthcare workers not getting vaccinated through their employers are included. Ohio's Attorney General is warning the public about phone and email scams related to the vaccine rollout. Criminals could pose as distributors or healthcare workers and offer to get you vaccinated quicker by making a payment. Now keep in mind, you cannot pay to get early access to this vaccine. No one from a vaccine site or a healthcare provider should be asking you for personal or credit card information to sign up for that vaccine. Well, the annual tradition in Akron is helping hundreds of families in need this holiday season. Christmas for the love of children took place today at Open M. Kids received presents, pajamas, school supplies, and food for their families. Last year, about 600 children were sponsored, but that number is closer to 700 this year due to the pandemic. On Friday, Open M will hand out 20,000 pounds of food to the community during its Mountain of Food distribution. All right, Mark, you've been talking about snow. Yeah, it's a glancing blow from another major winter storm. It's going to travel up the east coast. The heaviest snow will fall to our east and southeast, but Tomorrow, our viewing area could easily see during the afternoon light to moderate steady snowfall into tomorrow evening with accumulations for greater Cleveland generally an inch, maybe closer to two. Akron, Canton, you get a little bit more two to three. Canton in that four to five inch range. And then look at uh, Youngstown, four to six. Carrollton, six to eight inches. So some of you enough to shovel, not along the lakeshore, but farther inland. 27 overnight, cloudy and cold. Tomorrow, 34, the snow begins during the afternoon, may begin as a tiny bit of rain to start. But all in all, it's going to be a little bit slick for the afternoon rush for many of you. Akron overnight, 26, cloudy. Tomorrow, it's widespread snow for the PM rush. Could get a little tough to drive. Thursday, some lake effect snow, 36. Friday, a little lake effect early, 37. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.